All right, guys, welcome back to Wealth and Travel on a Dime. Now, we're gonna do a video today, but I do not want you to get stressed out about this. I'm gonna give you the information in a slow, meaningful way. We're gonna sit back, we're gonna sip some coffee, and I do not want you to get stressed out about this. For some reason, it gets everybody stressed out. Today, we're talking about insurance. More so, health insurance for people that are either self-employed or don't have an option from their employer. Okay, this is not for another option because you don't like your employer's health care. This is if you have no other options, this is what you use. Or if you're self-employed, this is what you want to go to. Now, each state is going to be different. We're going to give you the information I can give you for Ohio. And we're also going to give you the information as far as what plan we are using. Please don't copy us. At the end, I will explain, after Missy explains the plan, why we chose this plan and why it works for us. Now, the kind of insurance we use is classified as many different names. Old school people may see it as Obamacare. Other people may see it as the ACA plans, which is Affordable Care Act. What's more commonly known now is marketplace. When you're talking to somebody in the insurance industry or hospital and stuff, it's called a marketplace plan, okay? Now, there will be many companies. Every state will be different. Some may have state-funded ones. But the one thing I can tell you, do not go anywhere that says anything but .gov at the end to get these plans. Nowhere else. You will find places that will charge you to go in and get these plans. You will find places that will redirect you 20 different places trying to get you to look at ads. You'll find fake websites trying to take your information. So we will put a link in the description of this video to take you directly to the estimator, which is what we're going to talk about. I can't walk you through filling it out because that's where all your information goes in. It's a very straightforward process. What you guys wanna know is the estimator. You wanna know what plans are available based on your income and based on your situation. So that's what we're gonna walk you through. That's the information I promise you, you actually need. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to that link I have down in the description box. Like I said, if you wanna go look it up yourself, you can look up marketplace plans and make sure it says .gov at the end and you're good. Now, it's gonna have a questionnaire you need to fill out. The first part of it is your zip code. They wanna know where you live, they wanna know your zip code, so put that in. Now, all these other questions, it says you can skip, but you're not gonna get the right numbers. So don't skip them, fill them out. It's all basic information. So you'll have a household info. This is not a big deal. You're gonna see as all this comes, it's just basic information. If you want the right plan, fill the information out honestly. So then they're gonna ask you number of people in your household. Fill it out honestly. If you've got other people living there, you need to put that on there. Then it'll ask you if you're married. Click the box that coincides with what you are. And then they ask dependents on your taxes, not including you or your spouse. All right, so that's if there's kids, elderly, whatever, you put on your taxes, but not counting you or your spouse. Now, you're gonna have a quick little questionnaire here, here, and this is really important. The questions are about each member in your house, so you're gonna have to put one in for each member of your household. So for us, it was one for her and one for me, and you have to answer these four questions. Number one. Do you have an option for another health care through a work provider? Do you qualify for super low income stuff like Medicaid, CHIP, other stuff? Do you qualify for any of that? If you don't, you move on. And are you a parent under with a child under 19? The third is, are you pregnant? And the fourth is tobacco. Do you use it or have you used it in the last, I think it's six months or two years. I can't remember which one it says. So they answer those basic questions. Now they have all your basic information, but nothing, nothing you have to be worried about. The next thing that comes up is called estimated income. This is what throws everyone for a loop. And if you look at it, it's got directions there to where it'll actually tell you on your last year's tax return what box to go look at so you can get an idea. 
Don't get stressed out if you go higher or go lower than what you're supposed to be. You can always go in and readjust it. You actually did it this year and it ended up not being that big a deal. Yes. And we actually took ours higher even though we really didn't need to. It just guarantees because it works off the end of the year. Your taxes at the end of the year, if you overestimate, then you're going to get that credit back. If you underestimate, I've never seen it happen, but supposedly you're supposed to pay the premium difference back. But I don't right. know that they really make people do that, honestly. All right, so once you figure out your estimated income, which just a quick and dirty spitball of it is take your income, whatever you make, and you have write-offs. Like for us, we have all the mileage on our DoorDash gets wrote off. Um, if you contribute any pre-tax accounts, mm -hmm. is that right? But basically like a regular IRA or a 401k or any of that stuff you would put money into that's not taxed, that will lower your income. So... They have pretty good directions. It's not that hard, and you really can't mess it up. Put in what you think you make. If you're really worried about it, whatever you make, put that in there. If you make $55,000 a year, put $55,000 a year in there. I don't. And then hit View Plans. This is going to take you to the screen with all the plans in there. And then, honey, you want to kind of run us through this part? So whenever you start looking at those plans... There's multiple filters that you can filter it by, such as PPO, HMO, or things like that. Or maybe you want a specific um, company like CareSource. So you can do those filters if you want to. They offer the bronze, silver, and gold plans, and you'll be able to just scroll through those and see them. Now, I'm going to tell you some about our plan but I'm gonna to have to read it off the phone because as you know, healthcare plans, there's so much that I can't remember at all. And this is our plan, so stay till the end so we can explain why we chose it and do not copy us. You have to do what's best for you. Yes. All right, so we chose the Care Source Marketplace Bronze, First Dental, Vision, and Fitness. First thing I'd like to say is with our plan, it includes a membership to a gym or fitness center. For us, we chose Planet Fitness. Planet, and fit Planet Fitness, <laughs> if I can talk. Um, but it is the black plan. So we get the tanning, massage chairs, and everything included in ours. I was super excited about that. And they gave us one membership for each of us. Yeah, so we each have one. So we can go to any Planet Fitness across the country. They have every other gym you could ever really want. They have YMCA, but they're restrictive on a lot of their other stuff. Like you don't get all the amenities at the YMCA and stuff. Whereas Planet Fitness, it was we went in and they said it's black card all the way. And I went, oh, okay, we're going to go with Planet Fitness. So there's another website, if you get that, that you go to and it'll tell you what all's included in different memberships to different gyms that you can choose which gym you want to go to. But base that right there on a $40 savings a month right there. Right. We, we are making $40 just by doing that's that. that's what it would cost us. Okay. Okay, so our premium is based on $67,000 a year. We increased that because we wasn't sure kind of where we were going to be with the first year of both of us being self-employed. We pay $95.55 a month. That is our premium for this plan. Now, I'm going to hold her there because we originally had it signed up at $55 a month because of all our contributions to all our tax-free accounts and all our write-offs and everything like that. So, what was our premium before that? It was $15 a month. So that little change right there, guys, changed it that much. But even paying almost $100, we just told you it's $40 of that would be gym membership if we bought it. Right. So we're really only paying $50 if you want to get technical. All and right. whenever I was working, we were paying well over $100 well, for our health insurance through an employer. Which was an HSA plan, which is that plan actually is almost a little better, except for the fact that it's not an HSA plan. We can't contribute to our HSA. Yeah. And an HSA plan, I should say, on Marketplace is not cheap, just so you know. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's not. We did used to like our HSA plan. All right, baby. All right, so the deductible for individual is $16,000. That it, or wait, that's the family total. The maximum out of pocket is 18,200 before they will pay 100%. And that is with the 
our health insurance and our drugs are both included in those. Um, and it also comes with two other things. Dental and vision. Yes, which we'll go over those in a minute. I just kind of wanted to go over some of the copays. So for my, our primary care physician, it's a $40 copay per visit. But remember, you also get your wellness check that's 100%. So your first visit of the year if you're doing wellness is already paid for. If you have to go to a specialist, it's $80 per visit. And that is from day one. Urgent care is $80 a visit, and that's if you have to go at all. Emergency room is a $600 copay. Yes. So that's kind of high for most people, but we were comfortable with that. Um, outpatient mental health is $40 copay per day. And that's from, day, per visit. That's from day one. There's no waiting. Right. Our generic drugs is $10, which is a very good yes. copay. Okay, so we also got vision and dental with it. And basically with our dental, it covers approximately 50% on almost anything. Yes. So we don't get a cleaning every year that is 100% paid for. Our cleaning is only going to be 50% paid for. Mm -hmm. If we get a tooth pulled, it's 50% paid for. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that's not covered, I think, at all is like braces and stuff like that, which... I don't think we have a concern of. Mm -hmm. And then with the vision, they pay a $35 um, allotment for your Check eye up. exam. Yeah. And then they pay 50% on most of our glasses and stuff. Yep. Which we're not too concerned with either. Because like right now you can get places where if you buy your glasses, you get your eye exam free even. Yeah. So... That's not a big expense for us. Yeah, and for glasses, you got like Warby Parker and Costco and stuff. You can get deals on glasses that going around the insurance is not that hard. I mean, it was nice to have it built in to try and get something, but it wasn't part of our decision of the plan that we picked. Yep. So you've run through most of the numbers, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to really dive deep into this plan because a lot of you are going to be like, that's not a very good plan. And some of you may be like, yeah, that's all right, plan. Here's the part that you guys don't know. We have an HSA that's fully funded that can cover that maximum deductible. For us, this insurance is like a ceiling. So once we break through that ceiling, we don't pay nothing. So if we're both in a car accident tomorrow and they're like, you're $100,000, we're only paying 18. And then they're paying the rest. The only thing we'll have to pay after that is co-pays for doctor visits and medicine. That's it. So it is an insurance policy because what people don't understand that run around with no insurance is you can lose everything in a day. Everything you own. Because you start running up hundreds of thousands of dollars, that sometime they're going to come knocking on your door for the money. Period. So we prepared for this. Over the last few years, I had an HSA plan at work. We contributed maximum amounts into that with the intention that we would be able to cover that 18000 up front with our HSA plan had anything happened. If Tony falls from the top of the tiny house or <laughs> I break a leg out on the trail, I mean, we can still cover it with our HSA plan and then the plan will cover 100%. Neither one of us has ongoing medical conditions. We don't have things that we need monitored regularly. And at the point that we do, we will reconsider the plan that we have. Yes. And we also have the ability, because most people don't realize if you do the research, if you are on a chronic medicine, you are on a continuous medicine dosage, whether it's going to that company, talking to your doctor, they have drug reps come in all the time. I mean, we have, I have a consistent medicine I'm on and they went from $55 to like 10 something mm -hmm. with that, you know, it's just basically the company going, Hey, yeah, we can, we can do that for you. Don't worry about it. And also as you get into lower income brackets, there's lots of doors that'll open for you. We're kind of high for income brackets, so they don't give us all right. the benefits. But my point is with this plan, this is an emergency umbrella. This is like, if you're going and you're falling, it's a net there to catch you and you know, the debt can't go any higher. Now, I want to make another point because people say, well, what happens if something happens in December? You're screwed the next year. 
No, we're not because we have 401ks, we have IRAs, we have Roths. All of them can be pulled without penalty for uh, medical events. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people don't know. So while I think that it's great to have a $300 plan that's gold or a $500 plan that's gold a month and you have all these low deductibles and you have these $20 copays for all these places, are you going to use it? Because we found whenever the kids were even at home, we were paying almost $3,000 a year in insurance through work. And the kids would go for the wellness checks. We would go for a wellness check. And we wouldn't use it for the rest of the year. Yep. So I'm like, I could pay this out of pocket and just save $2,500. So that's whenever we decided to start doing more of the HSA plan. But I do understand how come some people who have you know, other issues that they have to go to the doctor more regular for or expensive medications or whatever. I can understand why they need a more higher based plan, but those are also on marketplace. Yes. And then it's also one of those things where this is also measured off your age. We are in our late forties, mid forties, late forties, and this is the plans we're going to get. Our plans at 55, they're probably going to be a few dollars more based upon mm -hmm. our health. Now, if I was 23, my plans would probably be a little less. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just one of those things that that's how it works. But I don't, I want to demystify this. This is not hard, guys. Figuring this out, the biggest problem you will have, you will have two problems with this. Open your mail. Look at your bills and make sure somebody doesn't screw something up. I don't know why people just want to throw their medical bills in a pile and not look at them. Yes, because this is really important. So make for sure that whenever you're selecting a plan and you're trying to see if your medical provider actually accepts it, whenever you call in, don't say, hey, do you take CareSource? Make sure you tell them that you take, that you have Marketplace CareSource. Yes. And also, even after you go see the doctor and they say, yeah, we take it, make sure you follow up and you open that mail because we had one procedure that was 100% covered this year and they billed it wrong. Yep. They actually had a totally different billing number on there. Yeah, I don't even know where they got the number from, but I called in and I'm like, hey, I think you need to rebuild this because this is our insurance, not this. And she took it over the phone, corrected the issue, and it was 100% covered. Yep. You have, to, you have to follow up with your bills. The number one way to lose money is not to open your bills and deal with them. But in these plans they have a filter where you can look and see if your provider is covered actually in the box but like she said don't just trust that i'm going to give you an example of how we figured this part out because even we got caught afterwards on this so we called my local hospital because my doctor wanted me to get a x-ray on my ankle and we called in we said we got care source and they said come in and I sat down, I filled out the paperwork, and they said, what's your insurance? And I said, care source. And we gave them the card, and they said, no. And they I said, said, what do you mean, no? They said, we accept care source, but we do not accept any marketplace plans. Yes. So, we called three other hospitals in the area, and every one of them said yes. Only our little rinky-dink hospital in this town. Now, do we care? No, because I don't like to go there anyways. Nothing against the people there, nothing against anything. It's just we have better hospitals available to us and we're in those areas more often. Now, some things you need to be willing to let go of. We had a very good dentist. Our dentist doesn't care what plan it is or where it's from. If it's a marketplace plan, they do not take it. They are cash money or only two other insurance providers. That's how strict they were because they want to make that top dollar. They're not willing to accept negotiations. So it isn't just marketplace plans. Dentists are getting to be kind of weird about a lot of stuff. It's not just like regular insurance you get at your work, you'll see they're starting to be like, no, we're not taking it because they don't want their, their rates set by the insurance companies. They want to set their rates. So we have to get a new dentist now because of that. And that's something you have to be accepting of. Because there is not a plan on that marketplace, no matter how much money you spend, that our dentist would take. Mm -hmm. So be aware that some of the things like vision and dental, those things you may have to change your people as you go to. 
Some of them may be better just to pay out of pocket, to be honest with you. I mean, when it comes right down to it. True. But I looked at the provider list in our town. Almost everybody was covered. Almost everybody. So take that as you will. Every state's going to be different. Every situation's going to be different. How much you make is going to be a big term. If you're making $300,000 a year, you know. But if you're in a, let's call it a low to middle class income, most people, at least in Ohio for sure, are going to have a completely free option. And if you have a completely free option and you don't have insurance, there's something wrong with you because you're just, you're blowing it. You're just blowing it big time because if nothing else, that'll hold you to $18,000 worth of debt or $20,000 right. worth of debt. And something's going to be covered. Yeah. They're going to protect you after that. All you got to do is make payments on that 18000 and the insurance company has to pay. Has to pay. So think of it that way. You can get insurance for nothing. Why wouldn't you do that? There's no reason not to. Now, with that said, I hope that we've made this a little bit easier for you guys to understand. I hope that we've given you information. Please do not copy our plan. Do not do that. That is what works for us. We have brokerage accounts and IRAs and we have money stashed in jars. All right. So we are ready for this. We came to do war. We don't have the bills like normal people. We don't have house payments and mortgages mm. and stuff. We are ready. We can sell a piece of property if it gets out of hand. So don't be like us. Do what works for you and your family. Look at what you need and what works for you. Run the math. Think it through. Don't bite off more you can chew, but at the same time, get the coverage you need. And with that said... I'm going to ask you guys for a thousand times and I'm going to ask you a thousand more. Go down, hit the subscribe button, join the family. You know you want to become wealthy. You know you want to travel. You know you want to live your life to its fullest while dragging your family along with you and having a Christmas vacation type <laughs> life where everybody just goes crazy. But Go down, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos. Make sure you give us a like, give us a comment. Do you have a marketplace plan? And how do you like it? Do you think that this would be a good option for everyone now if this was an option for everyone? I think it could probably work out in a lot of situations, honestly. And if nothing else, if you don't have insurance, tell us you're going to go look at the marketplace for their zero money plans because anything is better than nothing. And with that said, honey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Now, I don't want to talk about health insurance anymore for like two weeks. <laughs> no more. That stuff wears me out. That's why it's your job.